sugar geeks, Liz here. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make one of the most popular recipes on our website, and that is the fresh strawberry cake with fresh strawberry buttercream. Basically, we're taking all the strawberries and putting it into this cake. Coming up next on The Sugar Geek Show. All right, so to make our strawberry cake, the first thing we're gonna do is combine all of our liquids together. So I have my milk, and I'm gonna add in my strawberry puree recipe on sugargeekshow.com. Definitely something you wanna make ahead of time and allow to cool. And then I have my strawberry emulsion. This is like strawberry extract, but it's a little bit stronger. If you don't have strawberry emulsion, you can use extract. Vanilla, lemon juice, and then the zest of one lemon and a little bit of lemon juice, just to bring out that brightness of the strawberry. Little uh, tip for getting the most juice out of your lemon is to roll it with your hands and that just kind of like gets the lemon juice going. And then we're gonna squeeze just half of a lemon into our hand just to catch any seeds. Okay, we're gonna whisk that together, nice pink. But when you bake this, the pink from the strawberry turns to like a sad gray and it's like not pretty. So I always add a, like a half a teaspoon of just pink food coloring to prevent that. And that's how I get my pretty pink strawberry. It might seem like cheating until you go to bake it and you end up with sad gray strawberry. <laughs> okay, let's set that aside. All right, now we're gonna whisk together our flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. All right, so let's start making our cake. I'm gonna start with butter. Everything good starts with butter. And we're gonna cream that until it's nice and smooth. Make sure that your egg whites and your milk mixture are at room temperature or even just a little bit warm, otherwise your batter can curdle. And then we're gonna sprinkle in our sugar slowly until it's white and fluffy. Okay, so once it's white and fluffy, you can start adding in your egg whites one at a time. So when your egg white mixture and sugar and butter is all mixed together, it should look cohesive and not like curdled and broken. So when your egg whites and your butter is broken, it'll look like it's curdled and the liquids will be separating from the fat solids. All right, so now we're gonna start adding in our flour and our liquids in alternating parts. So we're gonna start with our flour and then do like one third of the liquids and just alternate until everything's combined. I can smell that lemon and strawberry. Like, it just smells so bright and fresh. If it looks like ice cream, you did it right. <laughs> so there's, it's not broken, everything looks cohesive, so I know this is gonna bake up correctly. All right, now we're gonna grease three eight-inch pans with some cake goop, or whatever pan release you prefer, and just divide your batter evenly. Bake at 350 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes until a toothpick comes out clean. All right, so I'm gonna add some strawberry puree to some buttercream, about four ounces. I'm just eyeballing. And we're gonna whisk that up until it's combined. It really helps if the strawberry puree is at room temperature. It will combine better with the buttercream and not look curdled. It just takes a couple minutes. All right, I'm gonna start stacking my strawberry cake here. If you have a little bit of a dome, you can just trim that off. My cakes are also chilled, so they're easier to handle, easier to you know, use. I'm gonna just put on a nice layer of my strawberry puree. Can't have too much strawberry flavor in this one, guys. This is just a super thin layer, so we don't have to worry too much about it like going outside the edges. And then we're gonna put buttercream over the top of this. Boop. Mmm, it smells just like fresh strawberries. It smells so good. So depending on where you're located, you might have some access to some really good strawberries when they're in season. In Oregon, we have something called hood berries. They're not as gangster as they sound. <laughs> they're actually from Mount Hood. And they're teeny tiny little red berries of like strawberry power. They have no white centers, they're super juicy. And when you make a reduction using those hood berries, it is like super bright, super strong strawberry flavor. All 
All right, now for the strawberry buttercream. I was super proud when I came up with this recipe because at the time there just wasn't really a lot of strawberry cakes out there that used natural strawberry flavoring. It was always like with jello or, you know, extracts and stuff. So I'm pretty happy with this cake and it's one of my favorites. One of the ones I'm most proud of. So I'm just doing like a simple crumb coat to just kind of lock in all of the, the fillings, the crumbs, and I'm gonna pop into the freezer for 10 or 15 minutes just till that buttercream sets up. And then I'm just gonna do a final crumb coat and that's it. Now we're gonna put the final coat of buttercream on. I'm just gonna do a nice rustic coat. I'm gonna do my classic swirl for the top. Take your spatula in the center and then just drag it out. Okay, I'm just gonna put a couple of fresh strawberries right on top. These obviously are not hood berries, but they are okay. <laughs> and just put those right on top. Mm-hmm. And then I have here some apricot glaze. This is apricot jam mixed with a little bit of water and then heated up until it's nice and smooth. And what this does is it stops the berries from weeping. It also keeps them nice and shiny. You only have to put it on the cut part. I know inevitably people will ask me, can I use strawberry jam? Can I use <laughs> berry jam? Can I use corn syrup? Yes, you can use any of those things. Now, whenever you go to like a bakery and you see the strawberries and they're so shiny, they're so shiny, you'll be like, I know. Okay, our fresh strawberry cake is complete. You guys, this cake, strawberry awesomeness. Like if you want a real strawberry flavored cake with strawberry flavor and not jello, mmm, in your face. That's all I got for you this week. I'll see you next week. Mmm, the filling is where it's at. All right, that's a wrap.